When you link to a text file, Access creates a new table, often referred to as a link table. The link table shows the data from the source file, but it does not actually store the data in the database. Access can link to a delimited text file. In delimited text files, each record is on a separate line in the text file. Here is an example of a comma delimited text file. Notice that the file has nine records and five fields. A comma separates each field. Some delimited files might contain field values that are enclosed in single or double quotation marks called a text qualifier. Since the full name has a comma separating the first and last name and comma is the delimiter, the field need to be enclosed in double quotes. Salary field's data type is currency. One of the record has text in salary field. We can see how access handles invalid data. Close the text file. On the external data tab in the import and link group, click on new data source. Select from file and then text file from the shortcut menu. The get external data text file wizard is displayed. In the file name text box, type the name of the source text file or click on browse. File open dialog box is displayed. Browse to the location and choose the source text file. Click on open. Select link to the data source by creating a link table. Click on OK. The link text wizard starts and leads you through the import process. Select delimited. Click on next. Select or specify the character that delimits the field values, tab, semicolon, comma, space, or other. If an uncommon delimiter is used, select other and enter the delimiter in the other box. Select the text qualifier used in the file. If the first row of the source file contains the field names, select first row contains field names. You can change these names either during or after import operation. Click on Next. Review the field properties. Click on a column in the lower half of the page to display the corresponding field's properties. You can review and change the name and data type of the destination field. Indexed is disabled. To completely skip a source column, select the Do Not Import Field checkbox. Click on Advanced button to launch the Link Specification dialog box. Notice that all the choices you made until now have been selected here. You can edit them here. You can select how date, time, and number fields are formatted. You can save these specs for future use by clicking on Save As. Click on Specs. Import Export Specifications dialog box opens. A list of saved specifications are displayed. If you have a previous specification you want to use, click on Open to use it. Click on OK to apply all the changes. Click on Next after you finish selecting options. Specify a name for the destination table. Click on Finish. Access attempts to create the link table. If the table is successfully created, Access displays the message finished linking table. Access creates the link table delimited. In the navigation pane, the link table is represented with an arrow and a table icon. Move the cursor onto link table name to see the source database. Open the linked table in datasheet view to ensure that the data looks correct. Notice that in the salary field ninth record where there was invalid data, pound num error is displayed for the data. Any changes that you make to the source file are automatically reflected in the link table. Fix the error in the ninth record by adding 200k as the salary. Save the file. See how that is reflected in the link table. 
you can see it is displayed correctly now. However, the contents and structure of a linked table in Access is read-only. It cannot be changed. If you try to change the data, Access throws an error. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.